We present Distilled Feature Fields Enable Few-Shot Language-Guided Manipulation. In this project, we consider a few-shot imitation learning scenario where a robot has been given a few demonstrations of how to grasp and place objects. Given this small set of demonstrations, we want to enable the robot to generalize to an open set of objects that come in different shapes and poses and sometimes from different object categories. Our key idea is to leverage foundation models trained on internet scale datasets, which embed common sense understanding of the world from two dimensional images. We combine these foundation models with neural radiance fields or NERFs to lift these two dimensional features into 3D. We call this general approach feature fields for robotic manipulation or FIRM. FIRM contains the following three components. The first component is a way to produce 3D feature fields from 2D foundation models in a robotic manipulation setting. The second component is a way to accomplish few-shot manipulation. The third component is adding natural language for open text language-guided manipulation. We will start with our automated system for making 3D feature fields in a robotic setup. The first step is for the robot to scan the scene using a camera mounted at the end of a selfie stick. The robot collects 50 color images of the scene at different poses, which can be used to build a neural radiance field at a high level of detail. In our setup, however, besides the color pixel values, our neural fields also reconstruct two-dimensional visual features from vision foundation models, such as dyno or clip. Take this scene, for example, where we produce a three-dimensional dyno field using the same differentiable volume rendering pipeline as NERF. The color in this rendering correspond to the principal components of the dyno features. Notice both the semantic boundaries between objects and the geometric details. How are we going to use feature fields for robotic manipulation? Many manipulation tasks may be formulated as learning to predict six degrees of freedom poses. We can represent a demonstration of this type by the local context in the 3D feature field. To do so, we first sample a set of query points in the canonical frame of the gripper. Now take grasping this red mug by the handle, for example. We sample features in the feature field at the query points and concatenate them to get a local geometric and semantic representation of the demonstration. Now, at test time, the robot is given a novel scene that contains objects that has not seen before. The robot scans the scene and then performs optimization to find the grasp that maximizes its similarity to a small number of demonstrations. By optimizing for a grasp over the entire scene, we get the grabs for the pink mug shown on the right. We we'll then use motion planning to find and execute a feasible grasp on the robot. How can we enable language-guided manipulation using feature fields distilled from CLIP, a vision language model? We designate novel objects to manipulate via natural language. Consider the user asking the robot to pick up the bowl. Our pipeline consists of two stages. In the first stage, we use language to retrieve the relevant demonstrations. We extract the text features for the user query from CLIP and compute the similarity between these text features and the mean query point features in a demonstration. We repeat this computation over a set of demonstrations and select the one that has the highest similarity to the embedded text query. For grasping the bowl, this process selects a demonstration for grasping a mug by its lip. In the second stage, we perform language-guided pose optimization. We search for a grasp that maximizes the similarity between a weighting of the text features for the language query and the demonstrations retrieved from the first stage. This allows us to focus both on the object the user specifies and the local geometric features important for grasping. We optimize over the entire scene and successfully find six DOF grasps for the bowl. Observe that language guidance allows us to ignore the mugs that are also present in the scene. Let's now look at some results on the real robot. 
we first set up a scene with objects collected around the lab in a variety of six DOF poses. Note that the robot has never seen these exact objects in the demonstrations. The robot then picks up a camera mounted on the selfie stick and scans a series of RGB images. We then train a nerf and distill clip features. Here, we show a visualization of the nerf along with the principal components of the clip feature field. We now use language to designate novel objects to manipulate. We first ask the robot to pick up Baymax, an out of distribution object category. We show the language similarity heat map of Baymax over the clip feature field. We successfully infer a grasp and execute it on the robot. Note that the closest demonstration was grasping a caterpillar toy by its ear. Language also enables us to specify objects by their color. In this scene, there's both a blue and a red screwdriver. We reuse the clip feature field to sequentially execute grasps and show the similarity heat map. Language guidance guides the optimization towards the blue screwdriver, which we are able to successfully grasp. We show the execution for the bold presented earlier, an out of distribution object category. We match the language query to the demonstration of grasping a mug by its lip, and successfully infer a stable 6 DOF grasp and execute it on the robot. We now demonstrate that the robot is able to handle the red screwdriver in addition to the blue screwdriver. The vision language features from Clip allow us to distinguish the red screwdriver from the blue one and predict a successful grasp to place the screwdriver into the container. Finally, language enables us to specify objects by their material properties. In this scene, there's both a transparent and a metal jug. We successfully predict a grasp on the transparent jug using language-guided pose optimization and execute it on the robot. To summarize, we designate novel objects to manipulate via language. We achieve this using only 10 demonstrations across four object categories. We showcase the ability to generalize to out-of-distribution object categories, as well as specifying objects by their color and material properties. Thank you for watching, and please check out our website for the paper and additional experimental results.